The last series was set in a zoo. It's yep. no longer in a zoo. Why'd no. you change that? Well, um, um, there's only so much you can do, isn't there, with a zoo? We got bored, basically. Yeah. <laughs> we get really bored. We want to set it in a different place every week. We wanted to go more realistic, so we set it in a flat where we live with an ape and a shaman. <laughs> yeah. You know, we wrote that joke on your show, that Satsuma joke. Really? Yeah. yeah. Tubes was involved. Where's Tubes? <laughs> I thought that when I saw the clip, I was going to say yeah. Tubes, because he asked you a question, didn't he? About Tube's hairspray. question was, what's the best hair product? And I said the most powerful hairspray that can keep a football in midair. You could free, and that's so, where we got so that. So we owe him a little bit of, Influence. Little bit of money, well, yeah. Shit, <laughs> where is it? Yeah. You what? 16 p or something. And his hair's looking better as well. <laughs> Marginally. It's brilliant. It's more like a BG now, but it's cool. <laughs> Maybe you could spend the money they give you on a weave. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, it's a great new series, uh, but people, I keep on saying to everyone, are you, are you watching Mighty Boosh? And they go, uh, some people say yes, some people say no, what's it about? Um, yeah. And it's impossible to describe, isn't yeah. it, what it's about? Yeah, um, that's why we're no good on shows like this. <laughs> that's why you have to show that. Yeah. 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 Well, we freeze satsumas in midair. That's Every it. episode, we freeze different <laughs> fruits. Yeah. Uh, it's a sort of it's, uh, we adventures. We go on adventures every week to different lands. Yeah. It's like Sinbad with beets. <laughs> like, uh, episode six, we freeze a pomegranate. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I wanted to ask you about um, your wardrobe because the episode I saw where you were packing to go away for a weekend yeah. just had a thousand different outfits. Wondering if you made up a list, if you because you had a, a tweed suit that zipped down to trunks. <laughs> do you have to give like a props person say, can we have a tweed suit that zips down to trunks? Yeah. But then, but looking at you today, I guess you just use your own wardrobe. Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> or I steal the wardrobe from the show. Yeah. Oh, this right, is all from right. the show. Yeah, a lot of all this. That. That and that's is. what I do. You got to be canny, you see. You go, I need a cowboy hat, and then you just keep it at the end. So do you go to <laughs> this them is all with all from, the uh, from the show too? <laughs> 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 you go to them with this huge list well. of all this stuff that you need, and someone yeah. else just sort all that out. No, yeah. we, we're very specific. You know, we write a very detailed yeah. list of what we need and how, you know... Right? That's all our scripts are, just a list of belts <laughs> and shoes and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. They're one of the men's magazines, so they've got all your sketches, haven't you? You sketch all the yeah. outfits. Oh, yeah, an arena. Yeah. That's quite, it's yeah. good. Right, now listen, Razorlight are in this series, aren't they? It's yeah. already been mm. gone, but here's the footage. I thought it was some kind of family secret. Huh? No. Look over there. There's Razorlight. <laughs> There they are. That makes a lot of sense. That <laughs> 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 yeah, but They're the Monday monkeys. But that what? bump in that where he bumped into, that was real. That wasn't comedy. They're <laughs> like the Marx Brothers. You can't write that. <laughs> and, and you compared their uh, Ali Pali gig. You no compared did. their Ali yeah. Pali yeah. gig. I was at that gig. But that was a disaster. <laughs> I was dressed as a sort of green 80-year-old cockney hitchhiker with a big thumb. <laughs> And I did some slap bass at the Alley Palace. <laughs> 8,000 people, all 12, all wanting their favourite band, greeted with me. Yeah. <laughs> Just scared the hell out of them. It was and, great. And you're going to be on their new album? Well. I think that was a rumour, wasn't yeah, it? it? was just, uh, I don't know what you that was. You've got to force yourself on I mean, they've been yeah. in your show. Maybe a video, they said we could be in one of their videos. So how would you yeah. go with Johnny Burrell? Because, you know, he gets a lot of grief, doesn't he? But I quite like him because yeah. he's kind of, he's, he's out there saying I'm the best in the world, I'm brilliant, I'm yeah. great. And I like that in my rock stars, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I do. You've got to have a bit of, uh, a bit of arrogance. A bit yeah. of arrogance, yeah. Yeah, like sure. Jagger. I exactly think. right, exactly. He's all right, he's nice. Okay, thank you very much, Noel and Julian from the Mighty Boosh. Thank you very much. <laughs> you put your trainers on. <laughs> 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 it's a Welcome back to uh, Soccer M. Uh, series 10 on the sofa today, we've got Leisha. Chester! Julian and Noel from the Mighty Boots. <laughs> West Ham fans over there. Chris is gone. Chris, Chris, Chris Eubank, Eubank is gone. He's mm. gone. He was a bit scared of her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, he took one look at you and thought, yeah. Yeah. We He's showed gone. him our technique. <laughs> it's more like the crane. <laughs> <laughs> he went straight away. <laughs> he couldn't compete with your clobber. No. Right, stay with us uh, for today's Soccerette, Cardiff's Crossbar Challenge, and a new game at the end of the show. And, and a very special. <laughs> 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 Right inside. <laughs>
Oh, do you need some tissues or something? Oh. <laughs> I'm actually I wet my trousers. <laughs> it was so late that I saw it and my fringe was in the way. <laughs> Otherwise you'd have done him, yeah? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. What the cameras oh. didn't pick up is that as he got in close, I pinched him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 that scared me. That was brilliant. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> right, now, Julian, even though you don't uh, do the show from the zoo anymore, you did get to go to London Zoo and open the new monkey enclosure. Yeah, we did. Yeah, it was brilliant. Yeah. There you go, we've got some oh, pictures. No. Look <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, at those trousers. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like? Good fun? Yeah, squirrel yeah. monkeys, were they? Yeah, um, tiny little hands. Yeah, <laughs> really small, grabbing at you. It was really weird. <laughs> it's quite a fun, isn't it? It's a nice walkway thing that you can walk through, and all the monkeys sort of uh, attack you. Yeah. <laughs> they do the attack on mass. If you sort of corner one of them, yeah. all the others uh, all sort of sense it and all uh, attack as a big group. Yeah, it's amazing. They just rip you to shreds. That's a so that's a fun exhibit, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> they throw especially poo for at children. You as well. Sorry, monkeys throw poo at you they throw as well. Big monkeys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But why, were you, why were you cornering monkeys? Yeah. <laughs> We just wanted to see how it felt. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had a duffel bag. I tried to coax <laughs> one into a duffel bag. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> well, it's weird we, were, we, we set our, our show in it, the first series in a zoo. In a duffel we'd bag. Never, <laughs> we'd never been really in a zoo or in a zookeeper's room or anything like that. So when we went to the zoo, we went into the... Sort of you called it backstage. <laughs> backstage yeah. It's where the animals relax. <laughs> <laughs> Cigarettes. <you know. laughs> <laughs> but what was great is we went backstage and uh, one of the animals, they were bringing out different animals to show us, like, yeah. I don't know, Tunisian bandicoots and stuff. <laughs> and, uh, the ones that you can't see, you know, yeah. the public don't ones see. Ones that only, you know, if you're in... <laughs> don't yeah. bite or yeah. poison you. Like monk wise. And one of them went behind the radiator, sort of escaped, and Julian just turned into a zookeeper, as if he was a real zookeeper, got his Coaxed hands and out. knees and started yeah. getting out. It was yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. But it didn't ever come out of that radiator again, though. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been living in there happily. Yeah. <laughs> Um, good, when we uh, when we invited you on, uh, you asked if you could bring uh, two of your friends from the show down, which is fantastic yeah. because they are here. <laughs> the Boom Bono from the show are here. Yeah, yeah. There. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, Bolo's a West Ham fan, so he's really oh. shy. Naboo and, plays uh, elephant polo. He's not interested in football. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got, they're both going to have a kick. We're going to line up our esteemed guests to have a go. And, and yes, Sharpie, you are first. Noel, get yourself ready. Noel, you're second. Come on, the Sharpster. You were trying to break it, weren't you, on the first day. Boo you. Now, well, this is out of order. Julian. Oh. <laughs> Noel's brought his trainers in, specially. Come on! Oh. That was close. Come on, from the bush, who is a hammer. Go on, the <laughs> yeah, we just rewind that again. Um, uh, first show of the season over, only yeah. another 40 to go. Oh, Thanks very much to all our guests on the sofa. Thank you, Lee Sharp. Yeah. Thank you, Julian and Noel and friends from the Mighty Boots.